Hey guys, I'm just here with a uh, content update on Fortnite 5.0. In this update for Battle Royale, we got a golf cart, which is a shopping cart, but it can hold four people and it's motorized. And then we got the rifts, which summon and they're basically kind of like a launch pad. Also, Candy Valley was added into um, Battle Royale, so uh, yeah. But on to the main topic, save the world. Fortnite Save the World 5.0! Now, I know what you're thinking. What's so special about 5.0? Well, there's a new event, the Road Trip event, some new flintlock weapons, which I'm not too sure about, and some buffs, some nerfs, that sort of thing. So, now I'm gonna be talking about the overall update, and uh, on to the main video, guys. Alright, on to general. Blockbuster is over, and the Road Trip event begins. Blockbuster tickets have been converted to one Blockbuster Llama, you know, just if you didn't open them. Uh, updated, Persistence, Weekly Store. So now we're going to be getting re-perks, uncommon re- or uncommon perk-ups, and rare perk-ups. Now, here's the real exciting bit. Starting July 17th, Save the World would be on sale for a limited time. Super Deluxe and Limited Founders Packs will return for the duration of the sale. See, I'm extremely excited for that because I only bought Super Deluxe and I wish I got limited. So this will be my chance, or everybody else's chance, to get limited. So, friend codes from Founders Packs have been removed in exchange for Legendary Troll Stash Llama tokens. All existing Founders will receive tokens based on their Founder level in 5.0 as a thank you for being with us. So that's just in general, and then we'll move on to the next bit. So the next little bit is just a lot of information. I'll just display it on screen and I'll have the link in the description if you want to check it out. But um, what is cool about this is that mission alert rewards, fire up, amp up, and frost up have been increased by 100%, which means instead of getting 30 a mission, they'll be getting like 100. Reperk increased by 50 and perk up increased by 30, 33. So this is going to be very useful if you're farming Reperk or anything, it's a lot faster. So next is hero buffs. Now there's a few notable changes here and that's that going commando reduced from 150 to 100 seconds, that's for like soldiers. As for ninjas there is increased base Projectile speed by 70%, increased base damage from 35 to 52 for shurikens. So, you know, not that much stuff for ninjas and soldiers, but as for outlanders and constructors, well, for outlanders, phase shift is increased travel distance from 1.5 tiles to 1.75 tiles, or 1.7. Decreased cost from 20 to 10 stamina, decreased cooldown from 15 to 8, increased charges from 2 to 3, and it now adds 30% movement speed for 3 seconds. So, you know, that's pretty good. There is the Constructor, which is Bull Rush. Increased base damage from 60 to 156. Reduced cooldown from 30 to 15. Reduced cost from 30 to 20. And increased shield collision width by 43%. And um, yeah, so that's the big notable changes. On to the next segment. So besides that, there's a few subtler changes that I'll just kind of put up on screen now. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. I'll be coming out with a llama opening soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.